Today we're going to do something that might be a little bit on the dumb side. We're going to take a standard Android smartphone, in this case a Pixel 6a, and we're going to replicate the new Apple Dynamic Island experience as about as close as we can on this device using only a free application which is in the Play Store. It seems to replicate a pretty good amount of what the Dynamic Island is supposed to be doing, although it's doing it uh, and only having to cover a very, very small hole punch instead of a gigantic one. I'm not really sure that this is worth doing, but we're going to check it out and we're going to try it ourselves. Dynamic Island with the APIs Apple has should be able to do some things that this, I don't know how it's going to work in terms of like sports scores and navigation and things like that. Don't think that kind of stuff is going to necessarily work as well or even at all, but we're going to check it out anyway. So let's jump into this and let's go through the process of just uh, setting this up first. And this is really simple. So we're just going to go to the Play Store and you're going to look for Dynamic Spot and it is an early access and it is free. There is a paid version, but we're not downloading or paying for the paid version in this video. We're simply going to download the free version. Let's now hit open. And we're going to go through a quick setup process, and it is very, very quick. So once this thing opens up, we're going to hit next. We have to uh, select what apps we want it to use, and we're just going to do all. We're going to let it use every single application and hit back. Notification access, we need to allow it to be able to see our notifications in order to show us our notifications. We're going to click on that. We're going to turn it on, allow. We're going to allow it to draw on the screen so that it can actually show up on the screen we're going to turn that on allow and we're going to hit done and we're pretty much done at that point now with the pixel 6a we actually do need to change the positioning slightly i think you can see that there that it's a little bit too high so we just use the offset position there we kind of brought it back down and at that point it looks fine you can actually allow two pop-ups we'll check that out swipe to clear and then touching outside the uh, actual pop-up to dismiss makes sense to me as well. And you can see some of these things are behind the paywall, right? So single tap, long press, being able to customize what does what, show up on the lock screen. So there's a few things in a paywall. So in general, nothing's going to be going on there. But what we can do here very quickly is let's open up YouTube Music and let's start playing a song. And now let's go home and you will see there that our dynamic spot, right? Not an island, it's a spot, has arrived. And if we tap on it, we should jump straight into the song that's playing. If we long press on, I think I got to do it on the side with the album art. A long press opens up this widget, which, you know, might be somewhat helpful. You may be thinking to yourself, now Shane, isn't that also in there as well? And the answer is yes. So why would you not just do this versus doing this? I don't really have a good answer for you in that regard. If you are to open up another thing like a YouTube video, now you can see that I have my widget for the music that is now paused, but I also have another little widget that I can pop up for the video and I can just tap outside and dismiss it pretty easily. There's an email that just now popped up because it has turned off do not disturb. So you can see all sorts of things coming in. You can actually see that there's two emails and I believe a text message of some sort. And if I get rid of the notifications, they should go away there as well. Let's go into maps. Let's see if we can navigate here. So we've started navigation and, and I'll be damned, it's kind of working. So it's just pulling that image there and putting it on the dynamic spot. If I am going to come up to a turn, I think that might actually tell me what direction to turn. This is working better than I would have expected. Now, when I set this up on my wife's Z Flip, you can see a little bit of redundancy there where, you know, you get the pop-up from Samsung and then that. But you can also, I believe I pull up the uh, the widget here so you can see kind of what options you get. Mark as red and then remind. There's no way to like respond to it in that widget itself. But there you go, it seems to be a pretty faithful recreation of Apple's Dynamic Island. There are some settings that I'm sure you saw. I think you can make it a little bit bigger or smaller if that might help you be able to find it. I'm still skeptical as to how useful this is actually going to be, but maybe there are some circumstances where having something pinned right up there at the top makes some sense. Maybe there's a sports app that will give you live notifications. I don't think the ESPN app will do that, but maybe you know of another one that will, that will just kind of have the scores pinned there in your notification, and maybe that will work. At any rate, if you choose to install this, I would love to know in the comments what apps are working the best for it. Is this something that you're actually interested in using, or do you think the way I think, and you think that, well, 
Uh, I'm not really sure how useful that is, and we're kind of trying to hide a hole punch that is already itty bitty and tiny. And we're just kind of drawing attention to something that really isn't a problem. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you on the next one, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.